Good morning. <laughs> it is 50 degrees in the middle of, almost the middle of May. <laughs> we're up in the mountains. It's cold still. Um, we're going into town today, do a couple of errands, a load of laundry. And we're going to try to stay up on our laundry. It's too cold to do laundry by hand. Um, so... We're on a little adventure. Deborah has a new project, and I'll let her tell you about it. Um, but it has to do with worms and fishing. I don't know. So we're on a mission today. So like I said, when she gets here, I will let her tell you all about it. <gasps> it's cold, Sammy. Are you cold? I am. Yeah. You ready to go? You ready to go? Oh, okay. No, she did. Well, I guess we should wait for Deborah to get in there. She's on her way. Hey, baby! I was what? like, holy crap! Yeah. Are you ready to go? <laughs> oh man, my covers have got blown. Yeah. <laughs> Samantha. Now your covers. <laughs> Sammy, lay down. Yes. <laughs> I was telling everybody yes. about your worm. Thoughts about your worms. I don't know really everything that you're doing, but it's we have a new project and we are at Family Dollar. Because it's one of two stores. The other store is a grocery store and hardware, Lowe's, supermarket and hardware, that we may go to next. I'm embarrassed to admit this. That's why I was hiding behind the dogs. But I've spent over probably two or three hours researching how to um, keep, um, sorry about the noise, I forgot, keep worms alive because they can live four to eight years. And it's like we keep buying these worms and then what we don't use we just throw in the river to the fish and that's good they get eaten and they get oh, used in the ground in the in, uh we haven't put any in the I ground have. oh you have yeah so so we we don't just throw them away so i got to thinking i don't know we bought these what three four weeks ago yes a long time ago and i have been reading slowly but surely on how to keep them alive and feed them and aerate them and blah 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 and they're still alive and doing really well. And so then I thought, well, I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to do a micro worm farm. In tubs. Did y'all hear that? Worm farm. In tubs. And, in um, tubs. Yeah. I, I know how to do it. I've, I've researched it well. And uh, we can get rid of also a, a cup of food scraps a week. Um, so there you go. We're going to be composting. To gonna, feed the worms. I'm homesteading in an RV now. We're homesteading. In, in, a, in a mobile RV, evidently, now. All right, so we're going to go into Family Dollar and see if we can find some worm supplies. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, these will be perfect. And I know you were wondering about something smaller. Yeah. That's a perfect size, but you don't want, uh, you got, you don't want clear. You need black or dark. Well, we could spray paint it. And, and one of these is size. Of... Yeah, but that um, everybody says that that didn't work for them. It flecks off, and um, some people covered them in like a black pillowcase or whatever. But I think it'd be easier just to get this. So we're taking them out of the refrigerator and putting them in a tub. Yes, and um, but they live in a refrigerator. But the uh, optimal temperature is 50 to 75. Yep. That's just to keep them dormant so that you can use them for fishing. Anything make, for fishing. To make them live, you know, 50 to 75. Okay. So she's changed her mind on the bins to this. Can get. I'm just going to make a top for it. Somehow, I'm not sure yet how. And then you put 
we that gotta, inside? Well, you have to soak it. I, I'm going to get some newspaper, but they don't have a lot of newspaper anymore. And they don't have moving paper, which is what I was going to get, which would work. So I'm going to buy this fax paper, cardboard, and tear it up, and newspaper, and then you soak it, and you put about four inches of that in. And she's homesteading. She's laughing at me. <laughs> Bandit's like, Mama, what you doing? <laughs> We got some leaves. Yeah. And there's the worm farm. Half hours of cutting and and getting all of the twigs and stuff out. And now I'm going to put that back in with the worms. Hopefully they're okay because the newspaper did not work. Alright. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Please be alive, some some of you somehow in here. I can't get the foil off. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, I need to lift this out. You want to move that one out? I'm tearing up my foil. Alright. And then there's paper on top. Yeah, I was supposed to do that, but... Oh, it did absorb some moisture. They said to do that so it absorbs some moisture, and it did. I have the dirt out. I want to keep... I want to keep the lettuce. If I can. I got more lettuce if you need more lettuce. Uh, we, uh, we'll see. I, what do you think? What do you think, boy? He doesn't really know what's going on. He is watching her so intent. Well, he's like, Mama has dirt in the house. This ain't right. <laughs> Mama never has dirt in the house. There's another worm. Oh, worms are 90% water. But this should be nice and fluffy for them. Make sure it stays fluffy. I can't see what I'm doing, so I hope I'm not <laughs> dumping it out on my floor. Does any dirt go in there or just nope. all leaves? All leaves. Oh, wow. Well, it's leaves off the ground, and, and there's, so there's some dirt in yeah. it, but um, mostly just fluffy leaves. Oh, that's cool. It is fluffy. Yeah, I worked several hours on that. And so, and then... Um, and then you just uh, open it up every day and spray the top like I just did. Hmm. And uh, hopefully we didn't clog up all the holes with all that dirt. See, this is the dirt that I had in there. And that's they, they will make that kind of dirt out of this. Oh. But uh, they need they need to be able to move around easier. And they will also eat these leaves yeah. and the different nutrients that's in there. We'll check back later. I think I'm not going to check them again till Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay. And just let them, let them, let them live. Hope, let live. Hopefully, hopefully they were awfully dirty. I don't know whether I they're dirty. Have, yeah, I don't know whether I should have <laughs> wet them down. They they had all that dry dirt on them, and they can't move when they get dry. So I'm I'm thinking. I wonder if I should have sprayed them a little more. But I'd leave them alone at this point. Yeah, me too. What do you think, Bandit? What do you think of my worm farm, Bando? What do you think of my worm farm? He's like, he keeps smacking his lips, but he won't, he won't have anything to do with it. All right, fingers crossed. Here we go. So we have an update on the worm farm. <laughs> <laughs> so Deborah is cutting up food for... Yeah, it's apples, lettuce, peas, carrots. Man, they ain't better than we do. <laughs> this is our food. <laughs> that and, is our food, yeah. And potatoes. <laughs> yeah, and they're going to get a little bit of potato. Uh, made baked potatoes the other night. And we didn't eat it all. So, I don't know how much to give them. Well, I do too. A cup a cup a, a week. A cup a week. That's about a cup, and isn't so it? so you're going to... Uh, but I'm going to give them... A half a cup. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I can, get, I can get my cup out and measure, but yeah, so yeah, a cup a week, and I that's what I, I learned from watching YouTube videos. If somebody has another suggestion, let me know, but a cup oh. a week is what I think is right. Oh. I think this is about as much as I want, because I don't so have So you're going to do, put all that in there? Yeah. Okay. I'm supposed to do it every week, but I can't. How are they going to eat? I don't think I have enough worms to eat all that. True. So there's a worm. Is he trying to get out? There's one already over on the food bin. <gasps> and he's like, is this it? is where the food's coming. I'm, go I'm going over here. So she built See? a little food Yeah, we put platform. some cardboard down. Jenna helped me cut that because I wasn't sure. And this little guy, he's already in the food bin. They say you don't even have to put dirt down but I just why would they come to a platform that doesn't have dirt that doesn't make sense to me so and I don't know why they need a platform and she only feeds them on one side yeah they say that way if, if, it, if it goes bad you can save the rest of your bin and the worms can escape yeah. so if they there's something in there they don't like um, they're going to say I don't like peas <laughs> <laughs> And then you water it. Little worm, you're going to get too wet. Cardboard. I didn't soak the bottom one, but I'm going to soak the top one. And it just goes on top. You don't have to cover the food on top, but they said you want the food on a platform on bottom. I have, again, I have no idea why. And we just cover it up. I think that's, a, that's how I'm supposed to do it. Little worm, there's one. They're happy. They're happy worms. They're happy worms. There's another one. They're happy worms. And then, um, there's some lettuce. And then you spray it all. Yeah, and then I'm going to water it because I water you. Okay, so once a week you put in one cup of food, uh, supposedly. I'm, I'm just going by what I'm learning on YouTube. If somebody has a different idea, let me know. Little worm, you should probably be down there before I start watering. Um, once a week you put in one cup of food on one side of the bin and I water every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday because worms are 90% water. This was a little bit dry so I'm adding a little bit extra today. I usually don't water this much and that's all I do. Yay! And then we'll put it back in its the bottom one, which has rocks in it. They're not. They usually don't try to leave a bin unless there's something wrong with it. So I hope this this is working for them. They're still alive. Yeah, we've had them what four or five weeks now. Yeah, they lived four to eight years old. Mm -hmm.